I have no idea what the Pittsburgh Steelers are doing. They just took Penn State tight end Pat Fryer move with the 55th overall pick in the NFL draft. And ordinarily, I'd be okay with this pick. Fryer move is, de is a decent tight end. Just about everything is about as average as you can, which is good. It's fine. He's probably going to be capped at wherever Hunter Henry has been the past couple of years. It's probably the peak you'll get out of Fryer move, which is solid. It's solid production for a second round pick. If you can go out and get six touchdowns and 500, 600 yards a year, that's good production for a second round pick. I mean, most guys, there are a bunch of guys who bust as second round selections. It's an awful pick for this Pittsburgh Steelers team. It just is. I mean, you have Eric Ebron on the roster. You're not saying Eric Ebron has been very consistent. Obviously, the drops are an issue there. But you're basically saying, all right, we acquired Pat, Fry we acquired Eric Ebron, paid him a bunch of money. We're now moving on from that selection. We're now saying we admit that was probably not the best move. Now we're going to Pat, Pat Fireroof. The issue here, though, is you still need left tackle and center. And I don't know how to phrase this to Stewart's fans other than the fact that you don't get high-level starters in third round or lower in these situations. Creed Humphrey was on the board at center, and I would have said, you know, that would have been a good pick. Maybe there's stuff going on behind the scenes I don't know about with that kind of stuff. If there's injury concerns there or something like that, Obviously, I'm not a doctor. I wasn't there at the medical combine, so I can't answer those things. But it's just very frustrating to watch all of these great tackle prospects come off the board here at the top of the second round, knowing that Pittsburgh didn't get one in the first round, and now we haven't got one in the second round either. It's just very frustrating because you're limiting yourself to what, James Hudson, maybe Stone Forsyth? Brady Kirstensen still on the board. That's probably your best option. And he, he, I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest playing him at left tackle in the NFL. He'd be more of a right tackle than me. And now you're relying on Dotson to come in and build on a solid rookie season, but he only had four starts. So, you know, there's there's something to build on there, but we don't know much. And then Zach Banner, who missed the full season last year, who missed almost the entire season last year, he him to come back and play right tackle. So, yeah. <sighs> I love the Steelers, man. I really do. And I, I, this is not a thing against Pat Farber. As I said, he's a good second-round pick. But he's just not the pick Pittsburgh needed. You know? At some point, you have to get an offensive lineman. And once you start saying, all right, now we've got to find two starters, one of them at left tackle, you know, below the, below the second round, and the third round or lower, now you start to worry.